guys, my name is Carol Miranda and today we are starting a new saga here at our channel, which is about the wood filament. As you can see, I had a lot of trouble in the beginning, but at the end, whoa! Do you want to print like this? So stay tuned on this video. And for those who aren't from the maker world, there's a filament type called PLA. But I tried printing with PLA wood. And look at this. As you can see, it didn't work at first. With the correct settings, we will look neat. This is the head that fails. But let's go to the video and I will teach you how to properly print it. Stay tuned, we will have exclusive surprises for our engaging viewers on our next videos. We got this new wood filament and here's what they told me. I tried to tell her, you're just starting out, avoid headache, don't work with that filament, use the basics, use simple PLA, otherwise it will cause abrasion, clog, string and get hairy. You didn't listen. I was concerned about company assets, lost many nozzles from abrasive filament, sure it wouldn't work, thought that even with bold printing, she couldn't do it without messing up. She would have problems. The filament needs a steel nozzle. Retraction calibration is hard due to temperature differences. It's tricky, I told her. I could have given up, but no! Then Guilherme wanted to print Guilhermo, El Puppet. And it has to be in wood filament. But the first time I started printing, I used the regular printing settings for PLA and was bad. And look at that! All string is so bad! Poor thing! When I was ready to give it up, I remember the print like a pro method, so I will put that to the test and see if it really works. There's a bunch of ready to print files for testing there, like this one I'm going to show you. Starting with temperature, regular PLA has a printing temperature of 190 to 230 degrees and the wood PLA was between 170 and 200. This was the first thing I noticed I had to change. It looked quite flawed at the sides. All of them was a little bit, but the best result was 180 degrees. So that's what I'm going with. Now moving to the second test, our flow rate test. Our first round available was increasing the percentage five at a time. Here as I've seen by the flaws, 90% was not ideal. You should also check the quality on top of the number as well. Here the best percentage is 100%, which will be an extrusion multiplier of 1. Second test complete. Now the hardest test for me was the retraction test, because I was making lots of them and none of them was working. That's when the nozzle withdraws filament to go from one side to the other. And in this case, the retraction was not good enough because it left these traces, these strings which we don't want to have. On this test we had retraction in 1.3 millimeters, which is how much filament the nozzle withdraws so I won't leave strings behind. And it failed! I tried 2.0 and I didn't get any better. Well, I saw a person on the internet who used 8 millimeters of retraction, but with so much the printer will do a lot of noise. So I thought, I am going to have them down. And I put 4 millimeters of retraction. And look at that! It was perfect, no string attached, pun intended. Here I used 180 degrees for temperature that we set on the first test, one for extrusion multiplier, 4 millimeters in retraction, and 80 for retraction speed. And turned out just right. With the best possible setting for me with this filament, I started to print our puppet. Check it out, it's perfect! And we have a lot of retractions here on these parts. And it didn't turn like a stringy mess like our last attempt at Guillermo's head. So we had to print a new one. And right now with the correct settings, here's our head. Some people even mistook this for real wood, because it turned out simply perfect. Check out the color difference between these two. It's the same filament, it just turned lighter with a higher temperature, I don't know why. And when there's too much retraction, the printer makes a different noise. This is a spoiler from another video. Something went really wrong. I made all these tests on a Neptune 3 Pro. So if you have another printer, you should run all these tests. And you will probably have a different result. And now, before we end this video, let's assemble this puppet, Guillermo. Here's Guillermo's head, time for the body. <laughs> Oops. We have an arm! <laughs> we 
hope you enjoyed this video if you did then leave a like and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe right now and just a reminder that today's video is not totally technical it's just stuff that i noticed and i decided to share in the easiest way possible but we hope you learned something useful i hope if you have any questions ideas for videos or tests leave them all down below and we'll try to make as many of them as possible see you in the next video Bye-bye!